Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Are you ready? Hindi pa eh. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time. Amen. Praise God. Silaw ako eh. Kita niyo ako? Amen? Mas nakikita yung natural na beauty kapag ka walang ilaw. Amen? <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Alright, so uh, ang ating pong uh, topic sa umagang ito, it's about woman of great faith. And let's go direct to the Word of God. If you have your Bible, just read with me in the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 15, verses 21 to 28. Okay. So, just uh, read with me. Okay. Matthew 15, verse 21 to 28. Leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. A Canaanite woman... From that vicinity came to him, crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is suffering terribly from demon possession. But Jesus did, did not answer a word. So his disciples came to him and urged him, Send her away, for she kept crying out after us. Then he answered, I was sent only to the Lordship of Israel. But the woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. He replied, it is not right to take the children's bread and toast it to their dogs. Yes, Lord, she said. But even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered, woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Hallelujah. Let's uh, bow down our heads and pray. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the reading of your word. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord, most especially, most especially for your presence. Hallelujah. That is moving in our midst right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for ministering in our midst right now. Hallelujah. And Lord, continue to humble thy servants, O God, that I may deliver your words not with enticing words of human wisdom, but by the anointing of your, of your Holy Spirit alone. Holy Spirit, we allow you, we, we welcome you to move mightily in our midst. Touch us, touch every heart, touch every life that is in here, in this place, this morning. Touch us in your own special way. Hallelujah. And Lord, for those who are weary, for those who are lonely, for those who are in sickness, Lord, touch them right now, O God, that they may be healed for your glory. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray that as we listen to your message, O God, this morning, hallelujah, may your words will continue to manifest in our lives, that we are not hearers of your words only, but be a doer of your words, O God. Hallelujah. Lord, cover us with your precious blood, O oh God. Hallelujah. Let there be deliverance. Let there be transformation. Let there be breakthrough. Let there be revival in this place today, this morning, O oh God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And let, hallelujah, let your, uh, let your blessing, Lord, will overflow to each and every one of us this morning. Lord, we promise that we will give you all the glory, all the honor. All the highest praise and adoration in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So, going back to our text.
Praise God. You know Winston Churchill? Winston Churchill. Amen? So Winston Churchill, during his uh, ongoing friendly feud with uh, Lady Nancy Astor. No? Lady Nancy Astor was the first MP who was seated on the House of Commons. Okay? And uh, one night, Lady Astor was so irritated no, with uh, Winston Churchill. And she said to, to Churchill, Mr. Churchill, if you were my husband, I'd put poison in your tea. But Mr. Churchill replied, immediately said, immediately reply, replied, and if I were your husband, I would gladly drink it. And on another occasion, Lady Astor said, Mr. Churchill, you are despicably drunk. And he said in response, I agree, and you, my lady, are despicably, despicably ugly. But in the morning, I will be sober. Winston Churchill was a master of uh, repartee. We call it repartee. No, repartee means when you answer someone with quick, clever response, with humor. No? And Winston Churchill has, has a lot of sense of humor. No? That he can reply instinctively to this Lady Astor. No? And likewise, going back to our text, we can see that this woman, this unnamed woman no, in the Bible, is a master of repartee. With her conversation with Jesus, no? she is witty, skillful. No? He, she has a clever response to Jesus. She understands and she can relate quickly to what Jesus was saying. Sa, uh, sa mga sa Pilipino, baka sabihin po natin mga ito ay mga pilosopo. Okay, <laughs> but this. Uh, 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 this master of repartee are smart. They are clever. No? They make sense. Yung mga philosopher, they doesn't make sense. No? But this uh, woman makes sense on what he was saying to Jesus. No? So in, in we found in our text today no? that this woman from the area of Canaan no? comes to him <coughs> asking for help because uh, he he is in uh, she is in desperate need. She was in desperate need. No? Her daughter was suffering in a demon possession, and this woman has exhausted everything that she can. But to, to no avail. So this Canaanite woman. No? Uh, in in uh, in the book of uh, in the account of Mark uh, in Mark chapter 7 verse 24 to 30 uh, she she was called Syro Phoenician woman or someone who was born in Syria Phoenicia uh, Syro Phoenician woman uh, and therefore she was a gentile uh, and while her, uh, when while asking a help from Jesus he was basically calls her a dog. He calls the Canaanite woman a canine. Lord, mali, hindi po ako canine, Canaanite. But this woman, no, in in uh, in Jesus' time, this Canaanite woman, this Gentile woman, no, in in the culture of Jews, no, in the uh, they used to call the Gentiles a dog. So it's normal for them to call the Gentiles because they were outcasts. They, have, they don't have part in the covenant. So it's chapuera sila. That's why they, they, they call them a dog. And it is a very uh, insulting word. So Jesus calls, uh, the Jews calls the Gentiles dogs. And it is a highly offensive label for for uh, uh, such kind of persons. Would you imagine if somebody will call you a dog? How will you respond? And 
Invite mo ng suntukan. Naliliit ang kayata sa akin. But, so when Jesus used this, uh, this dog word no, to this woman, everybody was shocked. No? Maybe even us, when we read this, uh, when we read this uh, uh, story in the Bible, no, we could be shocked. We are surprised. How come that Jesus uh, say that word? No? Says that word. Jesus is a kind person. Jesus is a loving person. He doesn't want to hurt anyone's feeling. But how come he was able to say such word to this woman? But this woman never give up. She never surrender. She never back out. Even after being called a dog, she didn't give up. And this woman's quick response made Jesus amazed. Jesus was amazed. It makes a lot of sense. And Jesus commended her faith. She did, she, she, uh, Jesus didn't commend, commend her for her witness. But he commended her faith, his, her great faith. And it is very personal. Jesus said to her, woman, your faith is great. Amen? Ilan kaya dito yung sasabihan ng Panginoon? Woman, your great is faith. Of course, yung mga babae lang, hindi yung mga lalaki. Okay, Mother's Day ngayon, amen? So, moments ng mga mothers. What, what what makes this Canaanite woman or Canaanite woman a woman of great faith? How did Jesus calls uh, said to this woman, "Woman, you have great faith." How did he commend such uh, appreciation? It is a praise word. Jesus is simply praising this woman because of her great faith. And just uh, the, the chapter before this, in chapter 14, no, Jesus just told Peter, you of little faith, why did you doubt? Because uh, Peter doubted, that's why he sank on the water. And after that, in, the, in front of his disciples, Jesus is saying to this woman, you have great faith. Sa Tagalog, napakalaki. No? Napakalaki. Hindi, hindi, lang mer, hindi lang basta merong faith, but napakalaki ng iyong pananampalataya. Okay? Yung iba sa atin, kontento na. May faith ako. No? Lahat naman tayo may faith. No? All of us have faith. But this woman, not only faith, but she has a great faith. Amen? Who wants to be a woman of great faith today? Amen? Hallelujah. Salamat sa limang nag-amen. Okay? Because, you know what? No? Even if you're listening right now, and if you don't have faith in your heart, no? pwede kayong lagpasan ng Panginoon. You cannot experience the miracle of God no? if you don't have that faith in your heart. So what makes this Canaanite woman a woman of great faith? First, she is in desperate condition. She is in desperate condition. The first thing that we see is this is a desperate mother who seeks Jesus. He's seeking Jesus. He's waiting for Jesus. Because he heard about Jesus. A Jesus, the Messiah, who is performing mir miraculous healing or other miracles no, in other towns. No. So he is waiting for, for this uh, Messiah to come in his towns. No. So the, the Bible says that a Canaanite woman from the vicinity came to him crying out. No. So what is this? Crying out. He is shouting. No. Hindi po yung iyak na... <laughs> Hindi po ganun ang iyak. He is... She is shouting, crying out loud to the Lord. 
Lord, Son of David, have mercy on me. Yun po yung kanyang isinisigaw. She is crying out loud unto Jesus continually that his disciples were bothered. Ang kulit nito ah. No, ang ingay. Lord, paalisin mo na nga ito. Ang kulit. But you know, Jesus didn't answer a thing. A word. He didn't answer a word. So, that shout is an expression of desperation. She is hopeless. Wala na siyang ibang matawagan. No? She is in a very desperate condition. No? Kaya pagka during worship service, pag malakas ang iyak, you are in a desperate condition. Amen? And you are pouring it out to God. Amen? Praise God. No? Kaya huwag, kong, huwag kayong mahiyang uh, sumigaw kapag uh, uh, nagwa-worship tayo because you are pouring You're expressing your faith to God. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, put yourself in in uh, in her shoes, no? In the, of this uh, woman. Okay? She has a daughter who is suffering. She desperately needs a help. No? She has exhausted exhausted all the means for her daughter in order to get well, but she did not succeed. And mostly sa ating po mga nanay, no? Pag nanay, pag mother, alam niyo po mga nanay, soft-hearted. Kapag nangangailangan yung kanila pong anak, no? when their children is in need, are in need, they will do everything they can. Amen? Nasaan po yung mga dakilang nanay? Amen? Praise the Lord. Sige. Happy Mother's Day. Palakpaan po yung sarili nyo. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Gagawin po ang lahat, no? They, they will do everything they can, no? Isasanla lahat ng ari-arian. Kung pwede lang isanla yung asawa, isasanla yung asawa. Amen. Ganyan po yung mga nai. That's the uh, that's the uh, attitude of a mother. They will do everything for their children. No? They don't want their children to fail. No? They don't want to disappoint their children. They will do everything they can. Amen. Para lang matugunan yung pangailangan ng kanilang uh, mga anak. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So sometimes people people are becoming desperate because there's no more answer to their needs. No, no more answers. They uh, they uh, exhausted all the avenues but they did not succeed and there's no more avenues that they can think of they will become desperate no? and then this woman heard about this Jewish rabbi no? who can perform miracles is in her town no? Jesus the Messiah was in her town she knows about the Messiah because She's shouting, Lord, Son of David. No? So she, she heard about the Messiah. No? But unfortunately, she was a Gentile. No? So, when, he heard, when she heard that Jesus was in town, no? she, she thought that is more than enough to have hope. It's not yet the end. There's still hope for my daughter. Because Jesus is in town. I remember in, 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 the, in another uh, illustration of woman of great faith, the bleeding woman. Amen? In Mark chapter 7, you heard, if you have read about the story of a bleeding woman, this woman, no, she, uh, uh, you know, she, uh, she pushed herself throughout the crowd. Just to touch Jesus' clock. Sabi niya, ma, ma, uh, mahawakan ko lang yung laylayan ng kanyang damit. Just to touch a portion of his cloak, I will be healed. It's a great faith. 
And this is another woman of great faith. So, she has a great need. No? People of great need can have great faith. Throughout the New Testament, the people who showed great faith no? to Jesus are the one who needs him the most. Those who are in needs, those who are in great needs, seeks Jesus the most. Kapag busog ang tao, mahirap pong hanapin ang Diyos. Pero pag gutom ang tao, dun po hinahanap ang presensya ng Panginoon. Panginoon, nasaan ka? Ba't mo ako iniwan? That's what we thought. Truth is, hindi po tayo iniwan ng Panginoon. Tayo ang nang iwan. Amen? Mahina na yung amen. Okay? Pahina nang pahina yung amen eh. Pagka nahe-hurt, pahina nang pahina yung amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So these are the people who seek Him with all their heart. And does anyone here today who is in great need, who are in great needs? Amen? Pwede pong makita yung mga kamay. Amen? Then you are a candidate to have a great faith. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, she was in a desperate condition. Okay? So, may pangangailangan. That makes her a, wom a woman of great faith. No? But not only that. The second thing is she overcome many barriers. No? She overcome many barriers. No, ano po yung mga barriers? No? Because of her desperation, she takes the risk no? to overcome different barriers of coming to Jesus. No? We just read a while ago in our text that this woman was a Canaanite and therefore she was a Gentile. And a Gentile has nothing to do with the Jews. No? They, have, they should not meet on, even on the road. No? Yung magsalubong lang sa kalsada, mag-iiwasan pa yan. Amen? Parang lang yung mga magkaaway yan, magsasalubungan na, tatawid pa. Amen? O yung may mga tampuhan, parang ganun yan. No? Parang laging may tampuhan. So, Jews doesn't have anything to do with the Gentiles. No? They have no dealings with the Gentiles. And this Gentile woman has no claim on Jesus as son of David. She's shouting, Lord, son of David. But she, in, 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 uh, in reality, she should not shout or claim that uh, title, son of David. Because that is for the Jews. That is a title given to a Messiah for the Jews, no? for the covenant. A Jewish Messiah, son of David. No, a title given to a Jewish Messiah. And this Syro-Punician woman has no part in the covenant promise. Amen? And you know what? Even, uh, or most, most of the people who have this great faith in the Bible no, are Gentiles. When Jesus was born, it is not the Jews who seek Him, who find Him, where is the Messiah was born? No, it is the Magi, the wise men. It is the Magi who seek Jesus first. Magi are Gentiles. They are wise men from the East. It is not the Jews. The Jews are sitting there, eating and drinking, and making business in the temple. And another example is the is a centurion. The centurion. The centurion of Roman uh, Roman army. He, Jesus commended his faith because he said to Jesus, "Lord, you are not. Uh, it's it's not worthy to come to my home." 
but just say the word and my servant will be healed. And Jesus commended her his faith. He said to his disciples, I have never seen such a faith. Just say the word and he will be healed. She will be healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And another barrier, second barrier is she was a woman. She was a woman. No? So in the Jewish culture again, no? women are not supposed to mingle with men. Women are not supposed to talk to strangers, especially men. No? But this woman, he, he crossed all these barriers. He overcome all these barriers. Although it was socially unacceptable for a woman to talk to a man, but he crossed it. He overcame it. And the, the third thing, no, the third barrier is she was defiled. She was defiled. No, why? Her daughter is suffering in demon possession. She is taking care of her daughter. Therefore, spiritually speaking, in the context of Jewish culture, she was unclean. Siyempre, nahawakan niya yung kanyang anak. So she was defiled. She is not supposed to be there no, with the Jews because she was unclean. She has unclean spirit. So, this, uh, 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 she was considered unclean, no? Uh, and the same thing with this bleeding woman for 12 years. She was not supposed to mingle with the crowd because she was unclean, because she, she was, was bleeding. bleeding. And this journey of this woman to Jesus, it's not easy. Hindi po naging madali. It's not easy. It's not an easy journey no? because of this socio-cultural, racial, and spiritual barriers. But this woman overcame all of these barriers. She, she overcame. Amen? Because she is desperate, she needs to take the risk to overcome all these barriers. Siguro tayo po, nakakahiyang pumunta dyan. English speaking mga na dyan eh. Hallelujah. So those were the barriers that she was able to overcome. And the third thing, the third thing is she is persistent. She is persistent. The woman's prayer was simple. She said, please have mercy on me and help my daughter who is suffering. But Jesus didn't answer a word. Jesus didn't answer a word. How do you feel when you are asking something and you are being ignored? Tuplado naman nito. Pag sinabi mo, Pastor, pautang nga. Parang wala nang narinig si Pastor. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay. So, and then his disciples urge him, send her away, for she keeps crying out after us. But even though Jesus was silent, and the disciples complained that she was bothering them, this woman didn't give up. She refused to give up. Amen. And we, we can see here, no, this woman is teaching us a lesson. A very important lesson. She demonstrated an important aspect of faith, and that is persistence. Amen. How many of us here are still waiting for the answers of their prayers? And yet they are here. They want to worship the Lord. Amen. They want to give praise to Him. Hallelujah. Amen. So, and Jesus responds. Doesn't, doesn't seems to be encouraging, isn't it? It's not encouraging. First response, 
She did not say a word. She ignored. She ignored the woman. Second response. No, let's look at the second response. Jesus answers the woman. No, I was sent only to the Lordship of Israel. Oh no. She's expecting something positive. But the answer she gets is negative. So it, it wasn't, wasn't the, the answer, answer that she was looking for. She's begging for help that her daughter will be freed from this demon possession. But it seems that Jesus is rejecting, rejecting here, rejecting her continually. No, rejecting this desperate woman. But it didn't affect, affect her. She didn't give up. Amen? First rejection, of, uh, she was ignored. Second rejection, uh, she's, uh, she, she was, uh, she's, uh, she, uh, Jesus said, said to her, I was sent only to the Lordship of Israel. It means only to the Jews and not to the Canaanites. So the woman came and knelt before him. Instead of surrendering or instead of backing out. Okay, it's fine. No? You came only for the Jews and I'm a Canaanite woman. That's fine. I'm out. But this woman, still she didn't give up. But he came to Jesus and knelt before him. In other, uh, in other translation, it says, he came to Jesus and worshipped him. And he, she said, Lord, help me. It's a very simple prayer. Her prayer is very simple. Just, Just like, like Peter, Peter, when she's about, uh, when he's about to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, get drowned, and a simple prayer. He uttered, Lord, save me. Then Jesus cuts his hands, grabs his hands. And the same prayer, this woman, Lord, help me. She didn't stop. She didn't stop bothering Jesus. I remember the, uh, the parable of the persistent widow. He kept on bothering this uh, judge you know, to give him justice, to give her justice. And because of, his, because of this uh, of her uh, persistence. She, she, she kept on bothering this uh, judge. No, although this judge doesn't recognize God. But because she bothered him so much. And the judge told, okay, I will give her justice. The same thing. Because of, his, of uh, her persistency. No, even though she was rejected, she never gave up. What she did is she knelt and worshipped Jesus and he begged him for his mercy. How many of us hear that when our prayers are not answered, we cease to worship? We cease to attend the worship service. We cease to, we cease to attend. We stop to attend the prayer meeting. We stop to attend the Bible study. Because our request is not being granted. It's easy to worship when all our prayers are answered. Amen? Daling mag-worship, daling magpuri. No? Pero pag hindi, hindi na nasagot, ang tagal na, hindi pa nasasagot. No? 40 years, mag-50 years old ka na, wala ka pa rin boyfriend, ang tagal mo nang dumudulog sa Panginoon. No? You've been asking for decades already. You are a candidate of great faith today. Amen? Hallelujah. Don't lose hope. No. Only one miracle is all you need. Amen? Don't pray for a boyfriend. Pray for a miracle to happen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that there will be a tremendous uplifting of faith this morning. Amen? 
as you listen to the message of God, to the listen to the word of God, may your faith be increased more and more. Hallelujah. And number four, no? number four, she humbled herself. She humbled herself. So this desperate mother knelt and begged Jesus for mercy. But Jesus told her. Jesus told her. It's not right to take the children's bread and toss it to their dogs. Wow, she called this woman a dog. And this desperate mother was so tired of taking care of her daughter who is suffering of this demon possession. And yet Jesus has the audacity to say, you're a dog. You are not entitled to the brand of the children. But look at the response of this woman. Look at the response. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, she said. But even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Lord, I'm not asking for the food on the table. I'm just asking for the crumbs. Siguro pag tayo po yung uh, sinabihan ng ganito, no, if, if we are that person, if, the, if we are that woman, no, how dare you to call me a dog? Minsan kung sino pa yung nangangailangan siya pa yung galit. Amen? Wala na nag-amen. Di ba? Sometimes wag di mo na pautang, siya pa yung galit. But this woman, she humbled herself. She was not offended to be called a dog. And still, she didn't give up. She humbled herself. Can I see the hands of those humble person? Amen. Can I see the hands? Amen. Okay, bring down your hands. You are not humble. <laughs> if you are humble, you're not supposed to raise your hands. Amen. Praise God. So instead of asking if you are humble, okay? Instead of asking if you are a humble person, so let's let's ask in a different way. No? Are you easily offended? No, when people talk something about you? No? Or uh, uh, does your feelings get hurt quickly? No? Or sometimes do you uh, do you always think that you deserve a better treatment. So those are the questions that you are supposed to answer. And that will determine whether you are humble or not. Sometimes, may marinig lang, narinig lang natin yung pangalan natin. No, sometimes when we just heard, they're talking, uh, uh, we overheard our name was mentioned. And we are reacting violently. What we are not aware of is they are uh, uh, they are commending us. That's why they uh, they mention our name. Pinupuri pala tayo. Kaya pala na mention yung pangalan natin. No, akala natin pinagchichismisan tayo. Hallelujah. No. So how do you react if someone calls you a dog? You know, you know, a dog. If she will get, uh, or a dog will, uh, if the dog will get angry, okay. You know, yeah, he or she will bark. And another thing is, the the four, yung balahibo tumatayo. Okay, tignan mo yung katabi mo pag tumatayo. Hindi po yan dog. Okay. So we can learn something about humility, no, on the dogs. That's why Jesus used this as an example. Because humility is valuable 
And it is rare today. Lahat na ng mga tao may fried chicken. Amen. Mga ilan, ilan na lang yung mga humble. Karamihan hambog. So, what we can learn is sometimes it's a lot easier for us to make demands before God rather than to beg Him for His mercy. Masyado tayong demanding. Lord, I want this. Lord, I need this. I want this. Give me this. Instead of humbling ourselves and begging for His mercy. Just like the, uh, the publican and the Pharisee, they went to the temple and pray. No, the Pharisee, she looks, uh, he looks at himself, a righteous man. He was, uh, uh, he was in front of the, of the altar. And he was saying to God, Lord, thank you because I'm not like, I'm not like the publican. He's a sinner, a tax collector. No. He's not paying tithes. He's not giving to the temple. He's not following the law. No. But this publican, he is staying far away. No. Far away. And he cannot even uh, raise his head. No. His head is bowed down and he is uh, hitting his chest. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. It's just saying, Lord, I don't have anything that I can boast of in your front. Or I don't have any anything that will motivate me to come before you. So I cannot, I cannot give anything, but I'm begging for your mercy. How many of us here, that when we come to prayer, we are so demanding, instead of begging mercy to God? Minsan, pag dinarasagot yung prayer natin, sometimes we, we blame God. Lord, hindi mo yata ako mahal eh. Hanggang ngayon, hindi pa nasasagot yung aking request. But this woman, she never give up. In spite of how many times she was rejected, she never give up. And she humbled herself before the Lord. And last but not the least, I know I I I have another one. No, the fifth the fifth are, uh, reason why this Canaanite became a woman of great faith. No, she realized that crumb is enough. She realized that crumb is enough. It's act, it's actually more than enough. Amen. Her reply was, "Yes, Lord." Yes, Lord. Okay. Yes, Lord. She said, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered, woman, you have a great faith. Your request is granted. Instead of engaging Jesus no, about the debate on, uh, related to the parameters of being a Messiah. Lord, iba Messiah ka? You're a Messiah. You are loving God. You came to save the world. You should have mercy on us also, not only to the Jews. But she didn't come to that point. But she humbled herself and she, she realized no? and she said, Lord, even just a crumb. Just a crumb. Mumu. Sa Tagalog, mumu. Okay? Not a ghost. Mumu. Mumu. A crumb. No? Di po ba? Uh, in, in, our, in our province, we have a lot of uh, uh, domestic dogs. No? Mga asong kalye. 
We have a, a lot of domestic dogs. And, you know, while we are eating, they were there. They are waiting. And when something falls down, they will eat. No? Crumbs. No? Mumulang ang hinihingi. She, she realized something that we should learn and apply it to our life. Just a tiny amount of God's provision is always more than enough. Amen? Just a tiny God's provision is always more than enough. A small crumbs of grace is more than enough. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. So with God, a little is always enough. You know? See the bleeding woman? Just the end of his garments, I will be healed. You know? Just to touch. Pa, touch, touch lang. Okay? I will be healed. Wow. This were woman. Of great, great faith. You know, it's just a crumb. That's just a crumb. You know. And Jesus said in one of his uh, parable, Jesus said that if you have a faith, just like uh, a mustard seed. And you know, a mustard seed is smaller than a crumb. You know, napakaliit ng mustard seed. If you have a faith, you, uh, just like a mustard seed, you can move mountain. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No. So, it's easy to, uh, it's easy to, uh, to get a lot of things in this life without faith. No? You can get education, you can get married, you can have children, you can have a lot of money, you can have a, a, a position, no? or you can travel everywhere. You can do all these things without faith. Amen? But there is one thing that you cannot do without faith. That is to please God. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen? Hallelujah. And look at the transition. No? Just right before Jesus compared her to a dog. And now, Jesus is calling her a woman. Okay? He's calling her a woman. Okay? Pero wag po natin gamitin ngayon, ano? Nasabihin natin sa asawa natin, Woman, prepare me a food. No? Sigurado, may kalalagyan ka. Okay? Because in, 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 that, in that time, in, the, in Jesus' time, woman, if you address a woman, is a show of respect. Jesus addressed his mother at the cross, woman, is a show of respect. But not in our culture now. Amen? Okay? So, uh, she, uh, she pay, uh, or uh, Jesus paid respect to this woman when he recognized that she have a great faith. No? So, did you see the transition? No? Jesus is testing this woman no? all throughout their conversation. You may still be wondering, no? why, why did Jesus call her a dog? No? It's, it, on, uh, it's, it looks like that he is being cruel to this woman, right? Amen? No? What kind of personality that Jesus have? If you are calling this woman a dog. No? And it's in, 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 uh, in the Bible, in Matthew 11, verse 29, he said, I am gentle and humble in heart. And how come Jesus said this to the woman? You are a dog. And Jesus, Jesus is, uh, uh, looks like he is demonstrating here that he was rude. But there are 
a couple of reasons why Jesus used this dog word. Now, first, he is testing the faith of this woman, and it is it is a, a it is normal no, for the Jews to call the Gentiles a dog. No, so he was testing this woman because Jesus knew what this woman is thinking. She knew what is in her heart. She knew, she, uh, Jesus knew that this woman will pass the test with flying colors. Amen? Jesus knew that. So regardless what description Jesus will tell to this woman, this woman will prove to Jesus that she will not give up and she will have that great faith. And at the end of the story, Jesus commended her. Woman, you have a great faith. No? And another reason no, why did Jesus call her a dog? No? Is the, the reason is to teach his disciples. No? To, to teach his disciples that they should realize no, that Jesus was a savior, is the savior of the world. Amen. He came to say to save the world, not only the Jews but even the Gentiles. No? And they are, they are the, the, the disciples are watching there. They heard what uh, they heard the conversation of Jesus and this woman. No? Jesus is uh, talking to them plainly. Look, I I, I imagine after after their uh, uh, encounter, no, with this woman. And this, this woman left. I imagine that he's saying to these disciples, you should realize that I did not come only for the Jews, but I come also for the Gentiles. Until now, you, you still don't understand what I came for. Siguro pinapagalitan yung mga Jews. Would you imagine... These disciples are urging Jesus to send this woman away. And yet, at the end of the story, she commended her great faith. Siguro nabuhusan si Peter ng malamig na tubig. Yung sinabi sa kanya, you have little faith. Pero sinabi dito sa woman, you have a great faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that is the reason. No? So Jesus is uh, is heating two birds in one stone. No? He, is, he is testing the faith of this woman and he is teaching his disciples. No? He is teaching them that they should understand no? that even the Gentiles are covered by his mercy and grace. Amen? And last but not the least, no? she found the right object of faith. So this woman, just by hearing that the Messiah who is performing miraculous healing, no? miracles, performing miracles, was in ta in his in his in her town. No? Hindi na pusha ng dalawang isip. She didn't think twice, and she is determined to meet this Jesus, no matter what. Even if I, I'm a Canaanite, I'm a Gentile, I don't care. I need to meet this Jesus who is a healer. No? So she have faith. She have faith and her the object of her faith is the right person. All of us have faith. Even the people outside have faith. They have faith on the doctors. They have faith on the teachers. They have faith on the uh, pilots. They have faith on the drivers. No? They have faith on the engineers. We have faith on our parents. All of us have faith. We have faith on this building that it will not collapse. Amen? But this woman, she had the right object of her faith. And that is Jesus. Amen? Some people, they come to a total desperation. To a point of total desperation. 
and they don't know what to do. Today, if you are in that total point of desperation, there's only one thing that you can do, and that is to come to the God of impossible, and his name is Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we all stand? Hallelujah. 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 Maybe some of us here are in great needs. Maybe some of us some of some in our midst are in desperation. We have been praying for a long time. We have been requesting to God for a long time. And until now, we didn't receive the answer. Hallelujah. Just learn from this Canaanite woman. Just express. Just pour out your faith unto Jesus. And she will, and he will, he will never fail you. He will never disappoint you. Sometimes our prayers will not come in our own timetable. It will come in God's perfect time. We should not lose hope. Like this woman, even if she was rejected, she was ignored, she was insulted. But she never gave up. Hallelujah. Today is a Mother's Day. How many of you mothers who are crying out to God for the needs of your children? Who are praying to God for the life of your children? Minsan, nagiging problema natin yung ating mga anak. Sometimes, iba sa atin, some of us, we are still have mothers. And we are not talking to them. We have grievances against them. At this point of time, Just come to Jesus and let Him answer your needs. Probably some of us are still in bitterness or in the spirit of unforgiveness. We have hatred in our hearts with our parents. Sometimes we, we have grievances or bitterness against our children. And this time, God is looking at your heart. You cannot hide from God. He knows exactly what you're thinking right now. He knows what is inside of your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are in need, just raise your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, thank you for those hands. And just as you have taught us this morning, O oh God, for this Canaanite woman, a woman of great faith. Lord, we are expressing 
our faith right now by raising our hands. And we allow you, Lord, to touch these hands. Hallelujah. And every need, every need, every desperation that they have, hallelujah, will be answered, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, magnify your name with these hands, oh God. Hallelujah. If you need healing, yes, just put your hands on the part of your body that needs healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And by faith, hallelujah, by faith, hallelujah, you, you will receive the healing that you need right now. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for your wounds, for your bruises. Hallelujah. That brings healing to us, oh God. Lord, right now, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, be healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 And you, if you have unforgiving spirit, if you have unforgiveness in your heart, if you have hatred, if you have bitterness in your heart, and you want to be delivered right now, hallelujah, just raise your two hands. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Be set free in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Be set free. Hallelujah. Lord, palayain mo, Panginoon. Hallelujah. Ang mga kamay na yan, na nakagapos sa unforgiveness, sa hatred, Panginoon, sa bitterness, Panginoon, sa sin, Panginoon. Hallelujah. Ano mang mga klaseng barrier, Panginoon. Ano mang klaseng bandages or vices, Lord. Lord, set them free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we receive it, Lord. We receive it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your healing. We thank you, Lord, for your answers to our prayers. We thank you, Lord, for deliverance, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, you deserve the praise. You deserve the highest worship. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, glory to your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your power that is moving in this place. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you the highest adoration. In Jesus' name, as we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. God bless you all.